Welcome to Spotlight, a show dedicated to highlighting the cast, crew, and creators responsible for bringing our favorite kaiju films to life. The first episode will be focusing on probably the most influential man in all of Daikaiju history, Eiji Tsuburaya. Eiji Tsuburaya was born in the Fukushima Prefecture on July 10th, 1901. He had a rough childhood, his mother passing away suddenly when he was only three years old, and his father had moved to China to help the family business. Young Eiji was raised by his uncle and paternal grandmother. At a young age, he developed an interest in model planes and aviation in general, and after graduating the equivalent of high school, began pleading with his family to enroll in the Nippon Flying School. However, after the accidental death of one of the teachers, the school was closed, and Tsuburaya enrolled at the Tokyo Engineering School, looking for a more practical occupation. While working at a toy company to supplement his income, he was offered a job to be trained as a motion picture cameraman. Tsuburaya's destiny was beginning to rear its head. He worked as a cameraman for a number of years under many different studios such as Nikatsu and Shochiku. He eventually joined Toho Tokyo Studios and began work on various military propaganda films such as Naval Bomber Squadron, The Imperial Way of Japan, and The War at Sea from Hawaii to Malaya. During this time, Tsuburaya crafted some of the most impressive miniatures ever put on film. They were so impressive, in fact, it's rumored that American military officials mistook the scenes for actual wartime footage. After the occupation of Japan, Tsuburaya found it difficult to gain work due to his experiences in making propaganda films. He maintained a freelance special effects studio working on visual effects for other films until he returned to Toho in the 1950s. Tsuburaya was head of the visual effects department at Toho Studios and supervised around 60 craftsmen, technicians, and cameramen. It was at Toho where he met Tomoyuki Tanaka and Ishiro Honda. These three were labeled the Golden Trio by Toho's publicity department, and for very good reason. Nearly all of Toho's 50s and 60s kaiju and tokusatsu films were directed by Honda, produced by Tanaka, and the visual effects were done by Tsuburaya. It's under this trifecta that some of the best films in the Showa series were made, such as the original Godzilla, War of the Gargantuas, and Mothra vs. Godzilla. Tsuburaya isn't known only for his visual effects movies, though. Who could forget his most prominent creation behind Godzilla? Ultraman! Originally envisioned as a Twilight Zone-styled show called Ultra Q, Ultraman would eventually transform into a prominent figure in Japanese henshin hero culture, as well as Tsuburaya's greatest triumph. The Ultraman series currently spans almost 50 years of television shows and billions of dollars in revenue. Tsuburaya didn't just create a television show, he created an icon. Eiji Tsuburaya passed away suddenly in his sleep on January 25, 1970. He was 68 years old. Tsuburaya left behind a legacy of intuitive and creative filmmaking that I personally think hasn't been surpassed to this day. Many modern-day filmmakers owe it to Tsuburaya and his films for inspiring them to pursue their careers in movie making. Steven Spielberg, in his book chronicling the making of Jurassic Park, said, quote, Godzilla was the most masterful of all the dinosaur movies because it made you believe that it was really happening. Close quote. Tsuburaya is honored throughout the world for his work. There are Ultraman stage shows all across Japan and Singapore, most of his films are readily available on DVD and Blu-ray, and Google even featured an interactive Google Doodle on his 114th birthday. Some of my favorite Eiji Tsuburaya special effects sequences include Godzilla's nighttime attack on Tokyo in the original Godzilla, Gaira's airport rampage in War of the Gargantuas, the Planet X battle in Godzilla vs. Monster Zero, and Godzilla's first appearance in Mothra vs. Godzilla. What are your favorite Eiji Tsuburaya movies? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. To learn more about Eiji Tsuburaya and his career, check out Eiji Tsuburaya, Master of Monsters by August Ragone. It's one of the best English language books about kaiju out there. You can order it on Amazon and on Chronicle Books website. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.